my name is Partha Srinivasan and I'm the editor for Channel Buzz Middle East uh, and also a blogger here in Dubai. I have a website uh, called channelbuzz.com. Click this link here and you should be able to uh, go visit the website. But I would suggest wait till the video is over because I have a heck of a product to show you today. In the last video, if you might have noticed, I was talking a lot about portability and I was showing you the Asus T100. Dell happened to send me a really kicker of a product and it's, let's just get into it, yeah? This is the Dell Venue Pro 11. Uh, this is the professional laptop. It's not, even, it's not a laptop actually, it's, it's, it's an HD tablet and it comes with a keyboard dock. Um, that's the box of the keyboard dock at the back. But it comes without the keyboard dock. They basically sell the tablet as a standalone device and this is 10.8 inches of pure professional mayhem packed into this device. Uh, why do I like this device so much? Let's get into it. Uh, the screen is nice and bright. It's a 10.8 inch full HD display. Again, colors are popping and everybody seems to be getting the display right of late. Um, Dell are no less, they've got their hands, very, they've got their fingers very firmly on the pulse of what people want from a display. Really nice colors, as you can see, the greens, the blues, the reds, they're popping right out of the screen and it's really nice. Um, and if I go into the desktop, uh, blue, again, popping right out there. Uh, if I go into the uh, specs of the device, let me just open up the specs. It's running a 1.46 uh, dual core uh, processor. It has 2 GB of RAM and again 32 32-bit operating system. They claim that the battery life is around 8 hours. Uh, but here's the best thing. You can actually change the battery. This is a removable back panel. And that's the battery pack right there. And uh, the SIM card, uh, this also runs LTE or 3G depending on the model that you pick up. Uh, I think the one that I have is the uh, 3G model. Uh, you can slide in your SIM card over here and uh, it has NFC inbuilt and uh, this is actually a removable cover which I have I've just shown you. Uh, hardware wise the device is quite nice, feels very very sturdy, uh, a rubber back so which means as, as tablets go this uh, doesn't give you the uh, discomfort of holding something that you think will fall out of your hands, it feels really firm and very very comfortable to grip. Um, and as 10 inch devices, as 11 inch devices go, this is uh, quite cool. Uh, moving straight into the usability of the device, uh, one thing that I did not like about the tablet is the fact that the keyboard is just eighth in. I mean, it's, it, it's working very similar to the iPad form fitting cover where it has the back which folds up, so it's convenient, it's not heavy. Uh, the device in itself is not heavy, uh, it actually is quite light. The screen is, uh, like I said, quite. It just brightened and I just kind of remember the screen was good. Uh, but the keyboard in itself is not something that I would recommend. Although, I mean, if you're looking for something uh, with a keyboard, uh, this is the only keyboard option available. Uh, it's it's all right. I didn't make a lot of mistakes while I was trying to use the device. And uh, it's, it's okay. The, the, the trackpad is quite nice. Uh, but apart from that, using the tablet without the keyboard docking is a lot more fulfilling. Uh, than actually using it with the tablet itself, uh, with the uh, keyboard dock itself. Uh, it has a resisted, it has a, um, what do you call it, a resistive button over here. Where, so if you press that, it actually presses the start button. It doesn't have a hardware start button like the Asus T100 has. It does have a whole host of features that the Asus does not have. And I think that that's why this device is actually a very strong contender to that range of devices. One thing that I really liked, and I've, we, we were playing around this before, uh, is the camera. And let me show you some of the photographs. Uh, they are just phenomenal. That's our ca my camera guy, by the way. You should say hello to him if you meet him on the street. Um, decent photographs, it has an 8 megapixel uh, snapper on the back, and it has a 2 megapixel snapper in the front for Skype calls. It has a good... Uh, uh, Four point microphone, which means that it'll pick up your sound, uh, pick up your voice when you're talking rather clearly. And I've actually had a couple of Skype calls in this, which is quite nice. Um, the camera, um, there's no flash. There was no flash involved in any of these photographs. 
um, and the photographs are quite clear. This is me before. Uh, so all in all, I think that the device is quite good. The keyboard, like I said, is not that great. Uh, it could leave a, it leaves a lot to desire. The price, it's 2299 and it's available across almost all retailers. And if you're in the market for a decent, and this is without the keyboard, it's 2299 without the keyboard dock. And if you're in the market for a decent tablet with uh, a Windows 8 tablet with uh, 3G or LTE, I definitely recommend the Windows 8.1 Dell Venue Pro 11. A uh, couple of things that you need to know about the device is that, it, like I said, it has an 8 megapixel camera on the back. It has a, a hardware power button right here. Um, on the side here, there is an SD card, which is, you, you use one of your toothpick kind device. You know, if you have a SIM card, you, you, how to pull out the SIM card of the Apple, uh, you need to use one of those pin devices to pull out the SD card slot here. Uh, it has a mini HD out here. Uh, the docking tray is at the uh, bottom here and it's magnetic so it fits right into the device. Uh, on the side, and this is something very cool, is that the tablet itself has the USB and the micro USB for charging. Uh, on the side here also is the volume rocker, the speakers and a 3.5 mm jack for uh, Skype calls. Uh, and basically because you can make, for, uh, not, not phone calls, but you can make Skype calls and voice calls with it. Uh, all in all, it's a good, robust device as a tablet by itself, but with the keyboard, not so much. Um, there are other devices in the market that can uh, give the combination a run for its money. Um, do, stay tu do stay tuned to the uh, channel and we'll keep you updated with uh, you know, a lot more products in this range. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook as Channel Buzz, on Twitter, and uh, my website is here as well. Uh, thank you for watching this video and um, do share, share your feedback and suggestions and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Thanks.